All right, I want to film a what I eat in a day tomorrow. So today is Monday afternoon and I want to film it Tuesday. So I'm starting it right now because I want to prep a little chia seed pudding just so I can have um, as a snack tomorrow. I did put this on my Instagram and I said that I would do it in my next video. So um, I am going to show you the recipe. Last week, I made my first ever chia seed pudding. <laughs> Okay, the website is feelingfabuloushwithkayla.com and she does a lot of like paleo and keto recipes. That's always what I look for because we've been eating gluten-free and like refined sugar-free. Keto and paleo recipes always like have those. We need almond milk, almond butter, vanilla extract, a sweetener, chia seeds. This is pretty much all we need right now um, because you mix the protein powder in right before you eat it. First, I do half a cup of almond milk with two tablespoons of creamy almond butter. Mm-mm. <laughs> I would love to try and make my own almond butter. Now we just mix it together with a fork. Then we mix in one teaspoon of vanilla. Then we mix in the sweetener. So this is monk fruit sweetener. She has on the recipe to add four tablespoons in, but I only added three in last time. I didn't want there to be too much sweetener taste. So I'm gonna put in three tablespoons. Now we mix in six tablespoons of chia seeds. The main event, is that the phrase? The main, yeah. Right, then mix this all together. Now we mix in the rest of the almond milk. So I'm gonna mix in one more cup of almond milk. I'm gonna divide it into little containers and then put it in the fridge. I got these containers off of Amazon. They're glass on the bottom. They're dishwasher safe and then microwave and oven safe without the lid on. So I'm gonna let these set in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then just mix them all and then they'll be all good for tomorrow. I think that's all for today. So I'll see you guys in the morning. every morning together. Definitely. Yes. Good morning. Gabe and I are gonna have some eggs and some chicken sausage. It's pretty much our, we're very much creatures of habit. Aren't it's we? our go-to every day. Gabe usually is the one, well, I feel like it's 50-50, but recently you've been the one making the eggs. Gabe makes really good eggs. Like, I don't do anything else, but I make some mad eggs. Gonna have some scrambled eggs, and then this chicken and sage sausage. This is so good. We just heat it up in the microwave. It's, the sage is just, it's so good. It's on, that sausage is like the best. If you can go find this, like, you're gonna love it. I put the butter in, I got a good chunk of butter. Put it in there, let it melt. Then I turn the heat off and then start cracking the eggs because I don't I don't like to stir it. You know what I mean? Like when you put the eggs in a bowl and then you do a little yeah, I'm a stirrer. Thing. I'm a I just stirrer. I just don't like doing that. So that's why I shut off the heat under the pan so it kind of like cools off the pan so I can put the eggs in and they won't start like cooking. Then I start mixing it. Turn the heat back on. I like medium. There's not that, it's not that much of a science. Really, the only thing about cooking eggs is just getting them off the pan at the right time. Yeah, that is the trick. That's the trick because I obviously know what I'm talking about. I also <laughs> like to mix in cheese. Gabe hasn't been doing that recently, but I think it's so, it just makes the eggs so much better. Delicious, everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. While I eat my breakfast, I'm also gonna take my vitamins. It's a couple hours later. So Gabe and I filmed a vlog and it's now one o'clock and um, I'm gonna go meet a friend for lunch. I'm really excited. It's the first time we're meeting actually. We've just been like Instagram friends, I guess. She moved to Miami a couple months ago, I think. And so we've been like meaning to get together for a little bit. It's exciting to like meet someone who also does the same thing. I haven't met any other YouTubers um, in South Florida and so I'm excited to meet her. I used a new self tanner last night. I feel like I just need to address it because it was a clear self tanner and I've heard really good things about it and I was like, let me try it out. I did way too much on my hands, so please ignore my hands. I just feel like it's so noticeable. I also put on some new nails from my Impress collection. I'm gonna drive down and have lunch. I think it's about 45 or 50 minutes away from me. I probably won't vlog while I'm in there, but I will show you what I get for lunch. I'm gonna quickly have a little chia seed pudding as a snack. My lunch was really good. I had a like chicken bowl between lunch and dinner. I'm gonna have this. So I'm probably just gonna put a little bit of almond butter on top, although there's almond butter inside, but just like a little drizzle of almond butter. Blueberries, strawberries, whatever berries I have. 
Well, I forgot to mix in the protein powder, so I'm gonna take out the berries. I definitely messed it up forgetting to do the protein powder at the start, so I feel like it doesn't look very appetizing. All you can really see is fruit right now, but there you go. Oh, yes. <clears throat> this guy. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. This is a really yummy and healthy, really easy to make snack. Is it really? Really, really, really. Mm -hmm. It really is. It is 6.30. I think I'm going to start making dinner. Tonight, we're going to have, Gabe's going to have salmon and I'm going to have chicken and then I'm just going to make like a side of veggies. Roasted broccoli. I'll show you how I roast my broccoli. It is so good. And some cauliflower rice. Pretty simple. I feel like I eat pretty simple and Gabe's just like happy with whatever. This salmon already has like a marinade on it. So um, I'm just going to cook that. And then I got these for me and then if Gabe wants any too. They are all natural, mild Italian chicken sausage with kale. The broccoli is already in the oven cooking. The broccoli can cook for a while, like, 30 minutes or so. I did put that in first because this stuff won't take as long. I've also never had these before, so one, I hope they're good and I hope they're not spicy. It's mild, but sometimes mild is too spicy for me. I don't know if you guys like spice or not. I like can't really handle much spice. I mean, it smells like nothing. <laughs> whatever I don't eat, I can use as like a lunch tomorrow. Same with this, like whatever Gabe doesn't eat, he can like have it as lunch tomorrow. <laughs> The first time I've ever tried to grill salmon and I, I really hope I did it okay. My hair looks so weird right now. He got a haircut. I got a haircut. It's like not done. I just like got it cut. I will just also <coughs> show you, this is what the broccoli ends up looking like. Ooh. Oh, you crushed it. That's really? so good. Yeah, money. Money. Should I take this bite? Oh, that is so good. Just, oh just my like gosh. Just a little bit. Holy moly. Oh, that's some of that good, good. Honestly? And that was so easy. Honestly, you kind of, you're kind of... And this is how my chicken, yeah, if you can see, my chicken sausages, cauliflower rice, roasted broccoli. Oh, look out! Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, look out! Oh, look out! My plate almost had your phone in it. Thank you so much for this delicious meal. You're welcome. Oh, this is gonna be so good. We'll either have water or an Olipop, or you sometimes have like sparkling water, but Olipops this brand is so like good. Crazy, the ingredients are like different types of plants. Anyway, I've made an absolute mess in the kitchen. We'll clean it up together after. Is this weird if I have ketchup with my chicken sausages? Also, I realized I've had chicken every meal today. For this day, and for being with us in every way Thank you Lord for a good night <laughs> And I hope we'll sleep real tight Thank you Lord <laughs> Sorry Oh my goodness We're gonna eat dinner and we're reviewing Gabe's new video. My next vid. He makes videos on his channel now again. Oh so if you didn't know that, go check it out. Like more than once a week consistency. It's like funny mm. reaction, sit down stuff. Sneak preview here, even though you're gonna see it after. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Gabe. He was a homeschool kid and never had sex yet. And when he was older, he married a babe. And he asked that babe, babe, what the bed read? Look at this boy bringing me a dessert. Here's the box for you, Sean Campbell. Thank you. We have been having these recently, Halo Top Keto Pops. They're gluten-free and, oh, God bless you, mate. Like refined sugar-free and they're so delicious. They taste like normal ice cream, don't they? They're, they're so good. And so this flavor is the sea salt caramel. It's so good. They also have a chocolate peanut butter. But one. this one is better. This one is better. But that one's, if you're a peanut butter person, it's good too. But Gabe's a peanut butter person and this one is still better. We get these from Bye. Publix. I'm gonna fart on you. <laughs> Try these out. They seem to be sold out all the time though, so. Publix is like a regional grocery store. If you're from the East Coast. Try, try Publix, Publix or, you know, just in like, I'm saying the uh, the regular grocery store. We're gonna keep watching Blacklist and Milo's gonna play fetch. All night, right? Yeah, we go. It's 
10 past 9, finished dinner and our ice cream and finished blacklist and we're gonna go get ready for bed soon. Um, we've been trying to go to bed a little earlier. Gabe's been able to wake up at 6 a.m. every day which has been really good. I haven't been able to, for some reason I haven't been able to go to sleep like at the same time that Gabe has. I've been going to sleep way later so hopefully tonight I'll be able to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this what I eat in a day. Um, I feel like everything was really simple and I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you don't <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.